What is up, low heat sneaker fam? Back. I mean, this medium heat. I I mean, I I, I think any Nike SB, especially collabs, especially lows, is high heat. But uh, due to maybe market saturation, a little SB fatigue, um, these aren't going for crazy resale prices, but uh, they are definitely over retail. So today, can't tell from the title already, and a little backdrop here, a little set dressing, we have some Nike SB Dunk Low OG Quick Strikes uh, in, what's their official colorway? Chili Red, Clear White Sail, uh, yeah. And as you can see here, I got these for retail from Valsurf. Shout out to Valsurf. This is my third pair of dunks I've got of cop from Valsurf in the, in the valley here. And uh, the first two were first come first serves that I ran over and got lucky. This is my first raffle win from them. So big shouts to them. I bought them some pizza. Hope they enjoyed that as a thank you. And um, let's, uh, yeah, that was a huge win for me. And uh, let's let's see these things before I get into some of the um, the details. So I, I have looked at these already on my way back. I peeked, I snuck a peek, and these I got to tell you are even better in person. People who are on the fence about these, like obviously everyone who can get these for retail are going to try to cop these for retail. That's not a question. But if anyone is huge. Um, Stingwater fans or Daniel Kim fans, I say, I say, pull the trigger. These are even more impressive in hand, in person. I don't know if you can tell, but let's just, well, first off, before I get into the details of the shoe, a little backstory because everyone's going to start clicking away pretty soon after I show these. Uh, these are a collaboration between Nike SB and Stingwater, which is Daniel Kim's. Um, uh, retail clothing company, whatever company. And, uh, he was a, he's a skateboarder and, uh, he's worked with Nike for a while. He used to get boards from, uh, dirty ghetto kids and, um, yeah, uh, Korean boy like myself. So shouts to him. I'm wearing some G the G dragon air force ones. So all the Korean, uh, Korean homies getting shoes, which is awesome. Uh, that's kind of cool to see. And, uh, these are obviously, if you didn't know, based on uh, the mushroom, this mushroom, the Muscaria Amarita, I think. Uh, correct me in the comments. Uh, it's got a couple different names, but it's kind of your classic quintessential toadstool type mushroom. And, um, you know, I, uh, I don't uh, engage in the psychedelics, uh, but I, maybe, maybe one time I'd like to try and, uh, you know, grow, We're all, we should all, that's kind of the theme behind um, these shoes and sting water is evolution and growing. And I'm down with that. I'm, I might not be quite that far off the reservation kind of, but I am all for self introspection and evolving as a person. And so, and really kind of, uh, it's hard to meditate for me sometimes when mine's going too fast, but that's all the more reason to meditate. Um, all right, that's enough on that stuff. I'm sure you guys are bored of that. Uh, to get into some of the details about the shoes, if you're still watching. Shouts to you. Please subscribe. Uh, okay, so for, right off the bat, you got some extra laces. Just key with skate shoes. Uh, definitely key with skate shoes. Uh, I, like, I like the red, but I'll probably keep the white on for some contrasting to begin with. Um, you got the jewel swoosh here, small jewel swoosh. I think a lot of people are fans of the big swoosh, but this is kind of unique. They don't do this on all shoes. They did these on jewel swooshes on the Bodega Dunk Highs. Those weren't SBs, but the Bodega Dunk Highs. Um, they had a jewel swoosh on like Air Max Pluses. Um, they kind of have a, a similar raised uh, swoosh. It's not a jewel swoosh, but there's a couple shoes that utilize that. And uh, I think it's dope. Uh, this material on the toe cap and the heel or the, the, the mud guard here is, it's this interesting, like it's hard to describe. It's not this shiny leather. It is a dulled leather, but then it's dimpled where the white is. So interesting material. I would, and then it's got this gum sole leather 
with eyes text on the bottom. You got the Stingwater logo, kind of showing the falling water falling off, kind of a lot of symbolism there. Jewel swoosh on the inside also. And the, the really cool parts to me is this uh, tongue. You got your, your foam tongue for extra protection, but you got this clear plastic on the, on the outside. You got the uh, Stingwater label. It's kind of like a cardboard. Speaking of cardboard, I got the cardboard box for $100 from them. And so it should be on its way. Pretty sure I bought a $100 box. So there'll be some big self self reflection when I open that and it's just a box that I spent $100 on. But that's for another video. So again, subscribe, keep your notifications on for when I unbox the box. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. But I love the you know, so there's been so much exposed foam as kind of a design motif nowadays. I like the exposed foam, but it's protected. Uh, and this inside is kind of to, meant to look like the gills of a mushroom and kind of the inside of, of a mushroom. So I love that. Um, uh, you got the mushroom right there. Um, empty your mind text there. Kind of the th Daniel Kim's theme and the theme for the company. Um, and, and, okay, two things. First, first off, you got a smooth bottom for the insole, kind of shiny. Uh, that's, that's, I like that green. I, I just really love this shoe altogether. But this uh, sock liner, this like corduroy, again, meant to mimic the gills of a mushroom, uh, definitely going to get dirty. So all you people who actually skate these, uh, A, salute you. Uh, skating is a little... A little bit in my rear view mirror, but uh, salute you. Any of you, uh, you kids who want to try to keep this clean, though, it's going to be hard to. So make sure um, this is just going to get dirty, probably. Uh, definitely wear socks that have either been washed already or new socks that aren't going to get a lot of fabric fibers. So like the other day, I wore some brand new Supreme Hanes purple socks. Fibers everywhere on the inside of my shoe. So I wouldn't wear something like that or any new socks with this unless you're sure that they're not going to get um, picked up by this uh, material. Uh, the zip pocket. So I was going to say this isn't like premium materials, but it's definitely premium construction. Uh, like this plastic isn't a premium material or this cardboard, um, but it's definitely premium construction. Uh, I would say and that's why the, the bigger retail price of 125 on these uh even though it's collab you uh, usually dunk lows have been what 100 and now or well, they used to be 90 then they going up to 100 now they're 110 uh dunk highs are usually 10 bucks more 120 these are 125 which is again probably paying for the different type of materials on these i said premium construction but on this one i i did coming to the stash pocket the one thing i haven't met saved for last does have a stash pocket dope cool I did open it up though, and then this side came open. So I had to unzip it all the way to reteeth the zipper to get it closed. So be careful on that. You can even see, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's still like, there's a, still a little gap right there. So I could try to redo this, but I got it pretty good. So I'm just gonna leave it there. So I would say that could happen to these. Um, so if you're gonna drop 300 to $400 on these, be aware. Big point to note. Be aware you could get these and the zipper could pop on the other side. So don't, sp I mean, in general, I don't recommend spending that much money on shoes, even though I've done it. Um, but if you're gonna pull the trigger, just be wary that could happen. You could have an open stash pocket permanently, or you're gonna have to re-jigger uh, it like I did. Just, that is a thing. I mean, it's kind of a cheap zipper, you know, and an awkward angle there. So one thing to keep, oh, 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 oh. One thing to keep in mind, just the stash pocket could be an issue. Um, but again, I got these for retail, minor thing. I, I pretty much solved it by rezipping it. So um, that's my only knock on these. Kind of minor in my opinion. Um, just something to keep in mind if you're going to pay resale prices for these. And you got Nike on the back. So I think, it, I think these are dope. Let me know what you think. I think these are better in hand than in the photographs. They're just super sick. Like that clear paneling um, with the exposed materials on the inside. I love this uh, corduroy sock liner, rib sock liner. You got your multiple laces, gum, clear gum sole. Oh yeah, plant emoji on the other side. Plant emoji with, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I spoiled that. 
It's plant emoji with eyes. I just said with eyes. Plant emoji with eyes. <laughs> um, all nods to like Alice in Wonderland. Trippy stuff. Uh, again, maybe someday I'll wear these, go on a trip, empty my mind. But we should all strive to keep growing. That's for sure. And so I love these. Love that they're made by um, uh, a Korean brother. And uh, I think that's dope. And I like his style too. If you ever watch any of his skate videos, he's kind of got a interesting street style, kind of a nod to some old school tricks and board grabs, which you don't see as much nowadays. So uh, I dig that. Um, yeah, please uh, subscribe and uh, hope you like that. Stay on the lookout for the Stingwater <laughs> Friends and Family Box unboxing that I'll do uh, once I get those in. And I got a couple more videos coming. Uh, so yeah, please subscribe and uh, give me a follow.